From Parramatta to Cabramatta, from the outer suburbs to the Blue Mountains, Greater Western Sydney is a big place. Good morning, everyone. Western Sydney is the microcosm of Australia. They're aspirationals, but from a working, uh, working class background. Western Sydney has returned as a battleground region uh, in elections at the state and federal level in the last few years. It's home time at Tullawong Station in the federal electorate of Greenway, 45 kilometres from Sydney's CBD. Former federal Liberal candidate Pradeep Parthi is leading this small group of no campaigners. We are taking the extra effort to make sure to educate them and we are saying them to go through that information and if at all the information is not enough, what now? Hi there. Well, out here, no campaigners are trying to appeal to undecided voters from migrant groups, tradies and the working class, who they say have no time for the voice. The Yes campaign, on the other hand, has the challenge of convincing voters to look beyond everyday concerns and think about the big picture of what should and shouldn't be in the Australian Constitution. I'm not sure at the moment, but most probably no for now. Why is that? Uh, because I'm not sure what happened if I say yes. So if I don't have any background knowledge, then I'll probably say no. 17% of voters here have an Indian background and the No campaign is playing on themes of national identity. What we want in return is the kind of equal rights for all of us, being a migrant, you know, and that's what we want. Uh, and hence I'm with the No campaign, you know, saying that everybody is equal. The campaigners here are mainly Liberal members and local Liberal councillors. It's largely migrant groups here and they have an interest in this because they have a stake in what is happening in the community. They've got to be involved. And what do you think the migrant groups are feeling at the moment in terms of whether they're leaning towards yes or no? My, my feeling is that they are a no because they, what is have, they, under, they understand that you've got to have only one voice. The No campaign was criticised this week amid reports that campaign headquarters was instructing some volunteers to focus on voters' fears. You haven't been told to focus on people's fears or doubts? Nah, nothing. We don't do that. The facts are there in the front of everyone. About 30 kilometres to the south in Cabramatta, both Yes and No campaigns were nowhere to be seen. Some voters were unaware of the referendum. Have you seen this booklet? No, I haven't. How come? Jeez, I don't know. The Electoral Commission's information booklet posted to households failing to register. That's the other thing, I don't really check my mail that often. I'm just surprised I had no idea, like, I never even heard of it. So it's voice to parliament. Have you seen this booklet? No, I haven't. I haven't at all. Do you think there should have been more information? Yes, 100%. I mean, there should be more exposure about what goes on. Cabramatta, in the federal electorate of Fowler, was once a Labor stronghold. But at the last election, just over half of voters in Fowler deserted the party to elect independent Di Lee. What's front and centre of people, and I think working Australians and the majority of, of people in Western Sydney, it's about the cost of living. Di Lee says many voters in her electorate aren't talking about the voice. We have had no walk-ins around the issue of the voice. Uh, my understanding is that we've got about five um, emails uh, from various kind of um, perspectives around the voice. About a third of voters in Fowler have Chinese or Vietnamese ancestry. I think a lot of our community members uh, fail uh, the voice is a bit uh, airy fairy. Does it do any good for for the uh, cost of living crisis that people are facing right now? Uh, does it uh, does it help uh, people in paying off their mortgages? Uh, you know, people out here are really concerned about the underlying economic issue on day to day level. I'm all for recognising the traditional owners of the land, but I believe that Australia is is more than just the indigenous voice today. I'm leaning towards maybe towards yes, like, because like, it is their, their land initially, we are the invaders. So I want them to kind of have their own choice about it. Obviously the Aboriginals haven't been, um, the things that have happened to them um, haven't been set straight. How do you think you'll vote? 
I'm not too sure yet. I do need to do more research about it before I make a decision. Western Sydney's marginal electorates often prove decisive when it comes to federal elections. And some political observers say the referendum outcome could be unpredictable. Saying that Western Sydney will vote a particular way is really not accurate. Uh, Western Sydney will vote in really dynamic ways. They are typically uh, voters that are wedded to the major parties, but they don't vote in clear-cut ways in terms of their uh, attitudes to social issues, economic, etc. They tend to separate issues out. I think we're going to see an incredibly high proportion of undecided voters right up to the bill. What do you think, my friend? Yes, campaigner Amar Singh believes the battle for Western Sydney isn't over. The Australian local hero of the year and Western Sydney resident has hit the road on a national tour. People just, you know, giving me a thumbs up in the street or, or beeping a horn and something saying, come and saying high five to me. When 7.30 caught up with Amar, he and his colourful truck were in Melbourne. Yeah. This is my uh, tagline here, come on mate, it's a fair call. Yeah. Because it's a fair call for us, all Australians, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. To support yeah. the Indigenous people. It's about time we acknowledge this because it's for far too long, First Nations that people have suffered in silence and the system hasn't worked for them. As a Western Sydney resident, I'm concerned about rising tolls, but that doesn't stop me from uh, doing what's right as a nation.